Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is April 22nd, 2023. Hope you're all doing well. In today's segment, we'll take a look at stocks with very high short ratio and see how to benefit from the short squeeze. So with that, we'll start with a quick market update and get going. So look from a market update perspective, we got here S&P 500, which is uh, ES. Look, S&P 500 has been doing very well. Look at the nice rally. And now it's bumping against a resistance level right here, as you can see here. So I see the trend to kind of continue and it might come down slightly. And then we got here uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Same story. Look, nice uh, resistance here. It's bumping against resistance and coming down slightly. And uh, this might continue for a while in the trading range and come down slightly. And same story, NASDAQ. Look, nice uh, volatility box here. It's uh, kind of trading sideways for a while. For the folks who are doing the iron condor, it's a great time to really, you know, sell some iron condor on, uh, you know, on NQ or even uh, QQQ. Or if you're doing the uh, index, it's, uh, you know, you could do index on NDX, you know, you could do a iron condor, you know, great way to make some money in this volatile choppy market. And look, Russell is another great one here. Look, very choppy. Look at the tight trading range in Russell 2000. So it's also a great one. You could uh, sell some iron condor in IWM, or you could even sell it in um, RUT, which is an index option. If you sell iron condor in index option, it's a long-term uh, capital gain 60%, short-term capital gain 40%, which is a great way for the folks who are a little bit careful about the taxing strategy. Uh, I personally love to do it on uh, these uh, indexes like SPX, uh, NDX, and uh, RUT because uh, very good from a tax perspective because of the 60% uh, long-term tax rate. And then you've got ZB. Look, bonds are really trading sideways here. Look, it uh, went up and came down nicely. And uh, interest rates are really wondering where to go here. So we'll watch how it goes. And look, we got crude oil after jumping very high. It's uh, coming down. It could be a good time to really uh, do some, uh, you know, iron condor type strategies. I typically love to, uh, you know, sell some call spread at the top here and it's going up here as it's coming down or, or, or be selling some put spreads right here and make some money that way. And then you got gold here. Gold is another good candidate here. Look, it's uh, trading sideways. You could do sideways strategies like butterflies and iron condors uh, in uh, stocks, you know, in um, gold. Uh, you could do it on GLD, GDX. And then you got here a DXY, dollar. Look, dollar is uh, weakening. That's a good story for multinational companies and they could perform very well. So that's a big picture here. Now let's jump into one of my favorite platforms here which is a uh, trade text uh, before you go to trade text let's go to fear and greed index here from cnn look from a fear and greed index perspective you could uh, look at this uh, uh, url here you could go into this uh, url and uh, you know look at the fear and greed index where did my fear and greed index go right here in the background right here look you could go into this uh, index here or you could search for cnn fear greed index and you'd get into this page. Look, right now we're in the greed mode here. Folks are buying the risky assets. That's why we're in the greed mode. Um, at this time, I could see us going back to neutral. Uh, mainly, some of the bank results are good. And uh, Fed might uh, keep the rates at the same level or even bump up by 25 basis points. That's why I could see us going from greed to neutral. So you gotta be slightly careful uh, on um, uh, on some of these uh, high risk plays as we go into um, you know greed because uh, greed is not good. As you go, as we have more and more greed, it will always come back to neutral and it will oscillate as you know very well. That's why you know if you know the market fluctuations. You can anticipate where it will go next. It can go slightly more in the greed, but it will go back to neutral and might go into fear also. That's how you make money by understanding where the market right now and where it might go. 
all right now let's go into uh, my favorite platform i will close this out here we'll go into um, tradeetix.com look at the tradeetix.com it's a free version here um, there is a premium version but right now i'm showing the free version as you go here you could go right here uh, and go into stocks as you go into stocks you get you get a page like this here you could go all the way down here um, into sector rot rotations you could go here and pick the time frame 15 days which is my favorite spot look what's going on here from a market perspective look at, at the bottom we've got technology technology is slightly weakening as you can see here it's uh, trying to level up here uh, trying to consolidate and go higher and next we got right here industrials industrials also slightly in a you know uh, down mode here and look we got one right here consumer discretionary after coming down hard it's jumping higher and all the way top here we got healthcare healthcare is a defensive play um, as folks are worried about the risk they jump into healthcare as many of you know here that's why healthcare is picking up and even this one right here consumer discretionary is also picking up as you can see here this is how you can get a good snapshot of what's going on going on in the market all right now let's uh, you know go into um, my favorite platform which is uh, uh, finviz.com and see what's going on here all right let's go into finviz here and uh, let's see here finviz.com let me bring that up here all right so we got finviz here i got finviz elite platform as you can see here it's uh, not very expensive it's about uh, 299 dollars or so for uh, or 289 dollars per per year it's a good platform because it also gives you the free real i mean it's it not free it, you know with the 289 dollars it will give real time price uh, that's a good one here so with that look from a dow jones industrial average perspective on friday it, uh, it's very choppy in the beginning um, and then look it went higher toward the end same story in nasdaq choppy in the beginning then went higher and same story in s p 500 this has been a pattern for uh, last couple of days as many of you might have noticed and now let's uh, jump in here and look at the uh, uh, look at the groups here so as you go into the group it tells you what's going on here on a friday it's a one day as you can see on the top here this is basically one way one day on friday as you can see here basic material uh, came down a uh, big time here and then we got healthcare which uh, jumped higher folks are putting money into uh, low risk areas like healthcare consumer cyclical and consumer defensive as you can see here and money went out of basic materials energy and so on and so forth but if you look at a weekly performance here look communication services think about meta facebook um, even verizon and uh, you know pinterest and so they kind of money went out out from those areas energy also money is going away basic materials money is going away as you can see here i typically pay more attention to the weekly and monthly i can get a good idea what's going on here so by looking at weekly and weekly and monthly here at this time if you're a if you're a um if you're a little bit counter to the trend you could go in here and start uh, you know buying some uh, stocks or even you could uh, sell some put options in these weaker areas because you could see some jump here and on the areas like this here you could uh, sell some call spread on the top and make some money that way you know it's always oscillation it comes up and down as many of you know here and monthly here utilities and healthcare you could sell some put options at the top here and the weaker segments here you could uh, you could uh, actually you could sell some call options at the top on the strong segments on the weaker segments on a monthly basis you could uh, sell some put options underneath and make some good money so that's a good way uh, to generate some great 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 monthly income we'll cover that later all right now let's jump into the screen uh, screener here uh, my favorite place in finviz and go into the short squeeze look we got uh, my shorts interest uh, scanner right here 
I typically go in here and uh, run. And look, if you, if you have a free version, you could go into the ownership tab here. You'll get some limited columns here. You can, uh, it's a little difficult to make out what's going on here. But look, we got float chart here. You could go around the tabs and figure out and uh, stitch them together. But if you get a, if you get a um, premium membership, elite membership like I have, which is worth it in my mind, you could go into the custom tab here and basically select what you want to pick and choose. In my case, look, I selected a few columns here. Look, all the columns where I got tick mark here. Those are the ones I wanted to see in this custom view here. And that's what I did. And now I could uh, let it let let go. And look, I got my nice and ha nice custom view uh, from uh, finviz.com. So in this custom view here, keep watching. I got my short float right here. I sorted by short float here. It tells me, you know, all these stocks like Silvergate, Carvana, no wax all i got nice and high short squeeze indicate i mean short float and then always pay attention to insider buying as well as insider selling so as you can see here uh, this is not always the latest as many of you know here it's a uh, you know past insider buying you can always find out latest insider buying i will show that in a minute but generally it tells you hey you know what look carvana there is a nice insider buying going on here and institutions are also buying and same story look we got marathon digital nice insider buying institutions are selling but not too much it will give a good idea but on the other hand, VTNR here, look what's going on here. Insiders are selling, not a great story. And same story in W, which is a Wayfair, insiders are selling. So you get a good idea. I, mean, I would keep a watch on this here. If insiders are not buying, selling too much, that's not a great idea. And then you can watch and see how the stock is doing from a performance perspective. Look in case of Voya, even though insiders are selling, uh, look what's going on to the stock here. Stock is slightly going higher. So you can, uh, this may be a little bit old news here. Uh, insider might have so sold a while ago, but now that's behind us. That's why stock is going higher. You, could all, you should always click on this. Um, as you can see here, I can click on this and find out when insider sold here. Uh, look, uh, by looking at this here, look, insider has sold. It's back in March. That's why it's behind us here. That's why stock is going higher. You know, if you looked at back in March, probably stock has uh, dropped at that time now it's going higher look we got nice uh, chart here if you look at the march when insiders are selling look stock also dropped big time here now it's kind of going higher that's how you could uh, understand and for the folks who are fundamental junkies like myself you could look at fundamental data in finviz look we got earnings per share dropped in 2022 sales went higher from 2021 to 2022 that's a good story shares outstanding is coming down that tells you they're buying big back shares that's a great great story all right so let's go back here into this chart here and you know what you could look at weekly performance. Look, we got performance weekly here. By looking at this, you can find out what stocks already had a great run. For example, I would not be putting my money right now in, uh, let's see here, how to get rid of this here. For example, I would not uh, I would not be putting my money in the stocks that have already gone up so much here. Like one right here, Novax, look, it jumped nice and high. Oh, sorry, not no, oh, yeah, Novax performance in one month is 50% and in one week it's slightly down. So what I would typically do is really, uh, if you want to look at what stocks went up in, uh, in a month's time here or a week's time, you could click on this. It will sort it by weekly performance. Look, some of these stocks like we got EYPT, which is I point and you got blue and so on and so forth. They went up so much here. And you could also look at the RSI. We got RSI right here. And the RSI is super high like this. You know, don't chase them. It's not worth your while. Instead, if you are buying the short squeeze stocks, look for lower RSI. So as an example, my favorite way is really, uh, let's go here to the filters. 
um, and I would really filter based on the RSI because I got Finviz Elite I could go into the RSI here I could go into the custom and I would say give me RSI between uh, 0 and 52 you know that's my favorite uh, sweet spot here so that way I don't want to chase the stock to the high RSI look we got stocks with the lower RSI right right now and you could look at these names you got Veru here look RSI you can also look at how stock is done you could look at these names here you know to get a better idea here you could go into uh, you could go into the charts view here um, you could get a good idea look Veru is uh, you know dropping big time actually it came down big time here now it's consolidating at this time you could uh, you could slightly venture into it look from an RSI perspective after, after consolidating now it's trying to go higher that tells you there's a good chance this can go higher of course you'll do some additional research which I, I will show you in a while and same story ALT look it's uh, dropped big time here and now it's trying to make a small comeback now it looks like it hit a resistance here it's trying to wonder where to go and we got pack west as you can see here and gas and so on and so forth just by looking at this uh, chart here you could uh, try to identify you know for example stocks like gas it can uh, it can potentially go higher and even pack west here look it can go higher um, and even this one here DAWN by looking at the chart you can get a good idea what's worth your while and what might even further go down if you see a small uptick here like the ones you see here that could be worth your while because all these have got RSI still below 52 uh, like we uh, looked for once you liked what you see here you can do some additional research typically where I do my additional research is a Fintel uh, platform Fintel as many of you know here it's um, not very expensive it's about $29 per month or so if you sign up for a yearly yearly uh, membership uh, it's hardly breaks your uh, bank but it's got some good uh, research material um, but their visualization is not great, but they got some good research material. Look, right now I'm in uh, fintel.com, as you can see here. I'm in their workbench. Look, we got a sc screener here, and there's a workbench 3.0. This is my favorite favorite spot in Fintel, even though they got some leaderboard, which we'll go in a minute. But I typically spend my time for short squeezes uh, in this Workbench 3.0. In Workbench 3.0, you could write some queries here. You know, folks who are used to some query languages like SQL, I think they will appreciate this much better. Even otherwise, it's pretty easy to understand. Look, I got a simple query here. So this is something query like this I would be running uh, to fish out uh, the short squeeze candidates look I'm saying hey give me a country US you don't need to give it here by default the country is US and I'm telling you I'm basically telling what to show you know show me short float which is a short percent float show me how many shares are float days to cover very important you don't find days to cover in finviz platform there's a short borrow rate insider officer score this tells you how are the insiders are they buying or the selling what the score higher the score tells you more insiders are buying that's a good sign and then there's a short interest change in one month if it's changing to the positive that tells you folks are still shorting it uh, if it's coming down slightly that means uh, shorts have stopped shorting that could be a good sign here and there's price momentum in one month we got the squeeze score this is a proprietary score by fintel and for the stocks with the good options there's a gamma squeeze score and i, I, I uh, hid some of the options related um, you know um, columns here mainly because uh, there is not too much real estate um, I would be pulling them in the Excel spreadsheet to do further an analysis but in this view it's not worth uh, uh, your time because there is no real estate you could uh, comment other things I just commented out these two uh, slashes means these are commented out but they got rich set of data you could look at them analyze them in Excel spreadsheet and I'm saying volume more than 1 million shares traded on Friday I don't want to look at low volume because uh, those are not liquid 
price more than one and we got short float percent more than 10 percent and less than 100 percent i i say this because there are some stocks like berkshire hathaway which comes up as a high short float i don't want to see them here that's why i put this uh, criteria here and i want short squeeze score more than 70 percent uh, this this is a fintel way of telling you there is a high chance of a short squeeze uh, that's why i use this filter here not to get too many stocks then there is a days to cover i don't want to buy a stock where hey it goes up only like one day um i want days to cover uh you know this is when shorts will cover by buying uh you know buying the shares they short sold at least uh, two days worth of uh, uh, short covering needs to happen uh, that's why i put uh, days to cover is two so there is at least a two day rally or short two day short covering rally and then rsi you know i put less than 55 if the rsi is over 55 you'll be chasing it that's why relative strength index less than 55 and i want borrow rate again this you don't find in the finviz i want the short borrow rate to be more than 10 percent this tells you there is a high borrow rate you know shorts are afraid to pay so much money to borrow that's when they might start uh, covering their shorts and then we got here you know, i just ordered by again it's like sql syntax as you can see here order by short interest uh, uh, percent uh, float descending that tells you i'm basically ordering by short float uh, or a short interest float by a descending order meaning high interest stocks will show up on top here with our criteria here look we got carvana upstart uh, fsr which is fisker and so on so forth here and if i go slightly to the right here look we got here days to cover for carvana 6.88 borrow rate is high 6.29 insider officer score is uh, 98.85 that tells you insiders are buying and so on so look rsi is 34 tells you stock is sold off here right now it's uh, eight dollars and uh, 14 cents so that's a good good indication here and if you want to do a little more research by looking at this chart you could always go into my favorite charting platform here which is a uh, trading view and look at the chart here look we got uh, right here i could go into products here and i could go to super charts and um, uh, i will say special offer decline for now looks like they want to give me some uh, good uh, 50 percent uh, uh, renewal oh that's a great news i might take that offer here but right now i'll go into my super charts here and go from there all right so look uh, let's see here explore that's fine uh, let's go in here um, and let me go back here uh, looks like they want to give me nice look they give me num some nice uh, uh, price here i might do the renewal here but for now i'll go into the charts and go from there all right let's go into the charts here and go into the products okay super charts that's where we are so let's go into our uh, stock here which is carvana cvna all right so look carvana right now um i got a one day chart on the left here and a one week chart just to see what's going on here for the short squeeze i would recommend changing this slightly here instead of one day here you could go into uh, maybe a 30 minute chart here or even one hour chart uh, that's a little bit shorter term here on the longer term here you could go into the one day chart here so that way you get a good idea for the short squeeze you're not looking at very good uh, very high time um, you know a very very high uh, interval so this is a good one here look in the short short time here stock is uh, you know getting some uh, boost look in a lazy bear indicator which is one of my favorite indicator for the short squeeze that's telling you um, carvana is strengthening slightly in a one hour chart but as you look through here we got uh, one more chart which is a daily chart here on a daily chart it's not doing too much uh, as you can see here 
by looking at this um, you know you could uh, slightly initiate some position slowly here in mainly because look it's a cons consolidating for a while here as it consolidates for a while by looking at the fintel if i go back here to the fintel here um, i could put carvana here let's go here and look i got spce I could say CBNA, which is Carvana. So in Fintel, you could do some additional research here. Look, one of my favorite place to do additional research on Fintel is the option flow. That's, you know, Fintel gives you a lot of information, you know, for a low price. You could look at option flow. You could look at short squeeze, gamma squeeze. Look at the option chain. There's huge amount of information for a lower price point here. Look, by looking at this, you know, by looking at these bubbles here, more red bubbles than green, that tells you right now it's a little bit bearish. But as you look through here, um, there is a nice uh, uh, option flow here. In the option flow, look, uh, on Friday, look, we got Carvana. Somebody bought, uh, somebody sold put. Whenever you see green here, that tells it's a good sign here positive somebody sold put which is bullish and they sold put uh, for a price point let's see here premium ninety three thousand dollars ninety three thousand dollars worth put they sold that's a bullish sign and 421 you know which is friday we have some bearish uh, you know buying put going on here but look amount is not high that tells you generally yeah looks like there's some positive sentiment at least by this one huge buyer here and it's a multi-sweep it's a sweep meaning they went across various uh, uh, various uh, uh, broker brokerage houses or uh, exchanges to buy this that's a bullish sign here and the bearish sign you know amounts are not too high as you can see here and there is one more bullish amount here look we got one more bullish amount seventy five thousand dollars that's why at this time maybe it's okay to you know put some money as a speculation uh, to buy and in this platform you could also go in here to short interest um, and look at the short interest look we got short interest right here and i would uh, you know just look at some of these uh, short interest details my favorite place to go is really right here we got fintel um you know we got fintel um look we got right here fintel daily updates this is my favorite place to go uh, to see really what's going on from a trend perspective look from a trend perspective we got here short float in short float uh, look we got short float shares um look right now short floors for float shares is kind of you know it's a uh, around constant i would say days to cover as you can see here days to cover is increasing look it's a 6.88 of uh, you know it's increased that tells you if there's a squeeze it can go for a while and as you can see your short float interest is 63.53 for a while here this typically doesn't change it changes every two weeks or so for most part but look short short interest has gone higher so as you can see here this is a good time to slowly you know positioning your portfolio uh, with a small speculative money uh, to make a small bet here so that's about uh, Carvana here and you could also get some good idea by looking at the options here you could go into um let's see here we could go into options chain let's go into options chain here actually you could go into options sentiment um, and get some good idea here uh, let's see uh, option gamma squeeze you got a lot of options data as you can see here all right let's go into options again there is option flow we already looked at that there's options uh, unusual volume option flow again um put ratio call. okay we could look at put call ratio here um and let's do one thing let's go into the this stock itself um and uh, look at the option right here i was looking for this one here you could go into options sentiment right here all right look from an option sentiment perspective uh, we got here put call ratio uh, it's a you know put call ratio in the fintel it's really put call open interest ratio right now we got 
put call ratio 1.54 and look it was it was 1.86 so it's coming down from 1.86 to 1.54 that's also slightly bullish uh, uh, bullish way because uh, you know number of puts have decreased between uh, 5 5 expiration date uh, Oh, looks like okay these are the expiration dates on a you know uh, uh, multiple expiration dates here i would uh, i would not pay too much attention here but generally put call ratio you could look at uh, to get a good I I idea the moment put call ratio is more than one that tells you it's more uh, more bearish that's how you, you would read this and then you got multiple things here um you know you could look at uh, you know some of these details here we got uh, expiration date put call ratio so on so forth here and you could look at premium bot sold there is tons of data here but generally i would look at uh, put call ratio here and get some good idea what's going on from a put call ratio perspective here and get some good idea here look put call ratio came down um, you know big time here as you can see here um, and right now we are somewhere in april as you can see here it went higher from a put call ratio perspective then dropped now put call ratio is uh, like kind of dropping as you can see here that tells you folks are more bullish as you go forward because put call ratio is dropping you know from april right now we are in um, april it's kind of dropping down big time that tells you folks are bullish on um, on carvana this is how we do some additional research here and you could go back here to workbench here to look at few more you could do same type of research here on other stocks also here and I know many of some of you are at least uh, wanting to look at stocks with a nice option open interest. So I could remove my uh, comment here. Look, I got here option open interest here. If I remove this comment here, I will get stocks with the option open interest more than 500,000. These are really some, uh, you know, stocks with a good open interest. And still, we are not chasing it because uh, we have a RSI less than 55. I could uh, say get results here. So if you're an options person here and you want to do short squeeze on few names, look, we got uh, stocks like Carvana, Upstart, Fisker, uh first republic which is a very risky play here and we got amc you know all these stocks have got nice and high open interest here um you could uh, do some options play on these names here and take advantage of the short squeeze so this is how we do some research here and one more thing i will leave you with look we got earnings coming up next week here um and from last week earning perspective look we got uh, you know some of some earnings which are not great as you look through here my favorite place a website here marketwatch.com uh, earnings uh, so look what's going on here we got tesla stock fell six percent ibm looks like it also came down slightly you know whenever i see stocks like tesla falling down one of my favorite stock i would be selling some put options underneath make some money and also i will be selling uh, buying some in out spreads so as tesla goes from current price you could say make some good money you're really buying a buying a call spread at the like atm call spread and you got few names here look we got lamb research one of my favorite stock i might uh, buy some call spread here also you know or and i could i would also finance it with selling a put spread underneath so that's how you could play it and next month or next week here very busy week here look next week we got coca-cola and uh, we got cni microsoft and google look tuesday is a very very busy day here uh, i'll be uh, doing some earnings uh, on condors uh, to take advantage of this high volatility or high av percentile we got meta on uh, wednesday here thermo fisher we got eli Lilly, which went uh, very high here i might uh, you know buy i might sell some call spread at the top here take advantage of any small uh, drop in the price here um, and if it drops i would uh, sell some put spread here make some money that way too and then finally on friday we got here big oil companies exxon mobile 
and chevron so you could uh, you know do some uh, you know earnings on condors and if your account is bigger you could do some earnings uh, strangle here sell them and make some money and go from there and if you think stock doesn't move much for example microsoft and google you could also you know do some earning butter butterflies here and make some money that way too but if you think stock might move too much don't do butterflies be safe uh, do a little bit wider iron condor and go from there so with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please uh, subscribe